Okay, so I know y'all are sitting on the edge of your seat wondering what I think of the Note 5, right? Well, I was disappointed. Not that it wasn't a really solid offering, because it really is, but it just, it's so flimsy. I mean, you know, I love to use phones with no cases. And a phone with a glass back is just, there's no way because I would not enjoy the phone because I'd be so worried about it all the time. So that totally took it out of the running. And you know, I really don't like paying 800 plus for phones, but T-Mobile was going to be only charging 699. So I was like, hmm. But then all of a sudden, you know, I put my stepdaughter on my plan and she wanted an Apple iPhone 6 Plus, and so she got it. And the more I looked at it, I was like, wow, you know, they've really changed. I mean, I thought you had to have a, you know, an iMac or a MacBook Air because, or iTunes and all that, because I've always heard that, you know, Apple doesn't play nice with any other company, so I was like, I'm not getting into all that. Plus, I've always heard how deprived Apple owners were, and they didn't even know it. And I was like, mm-mm-mm. But, to be honest, the customization, I've not really been into that for a couple of years. And I really don't like the way Lollipop is. And no matter how much RAM you throw at Android, or how powerful the processor. I mean, you might be able to get rid of stutters, but you're still gonna always have such hot phones because me, I like to keep my phone plugged into the outlet all day while I stream videos. And my Tab S is probably the only device that I can do both those things with. And it never gets hot. But every other phone I've tried, the next, I mean, every phone when you, you know, really push it, it gets blazing hot and I hate that. So, you know, my daughter, I got her an unlimited plan. I have two um, unlimited plans on T-Mobile for $100. Unlimited LTE, I might add. They don't even have that plan anymore. Um, and she streams and does all and never gets hot. And I was like, hmm. So I started looking at her phone and lo and behold, I was like, impressed and and then I found that you can change your wallpaper because I had heard that you couldn't now that was probably a couple of iOS's ago but still I didn't know they changed that and and they've just done so many things that <clears throat> excuse me I just wasn't aware of and because my needs have become less and less towards customization and more and more towards when I want to type a text message or play a video. I don't want to launch 12,000 apps, you know. I just really wanted it simplified. But not too simple because I got a Windows phone and that was just disastrous. It was so boring and it wasn't even that pretty or that fluid. But enter the iPhone 6 Plus and I gotta tell you, it's everything I ever dreamed a phone could be. First of all, I get the gold one and it's absolutely beautiful thin, fast, and I love their home button. I mean, you know, Samsung's you really gotta push. Now this one, it just doesn't feel like you have to work that hard at it, I don't know. And I love no buttons here. I never launch anything by accident. Look, it says, Bossy Texas Chicks, iPhone 6 Plus, hell has done frozen over. And it's true. But, um, there's so many things that are great about this phone. I mean, you can set dialogue on your keyboard. You go into your shortcuts and you just hit one letter on your keyboard and it'll type out a whole sentence that you programmed it to do. Safari is fantastic. Um, it works so well. And you can, you know, if you go like that twice, you can multitask, just go to your previous. I didn't know you could do that. Um, like I said, you can have separate wallpaper, you can have more than one screen. Um, the fluidity on this phone is just so amazing. I just, I love it. I had actually written down a bunch of things about 
iOS that I didn't know and that I've come to love. And of course, because I'm taping or recording or whatever you want to call it, I can't think of one thing. But this combination right here, I haven't left Android because, you know, I love my Tab S. I mean, I love it. It's just a beautiful device. Super fast, you know, it's a phone too. Let's go here. You know, it's a phone. Where is that? It's a phone. And I love that, okay? It's um, super fast. Got three gigabytes of RAM. It doesn't stutter. Super, super quick and fluid. The combination of these two, I'm like in hog heaven. And the only reason I even tried this was because they were having this special at T-Mobile on their new Jump On Demand program. It's really the best program they've ever had because... Not only can you jump three times in 18 months and you can jump the second day, you don't have to wait six months, but they're having a promo where the iPhone 6 Plus is only $19 locked in for 18 months. So that comes to a total of $342, nothing down. And after 18 months, you just give it back or you can buy it at the end for a residual price of, I think, $189, but I won't be doing that. And then in September, the iPhone 6S Plus is coming out and that's supposed to have a couple of upgrades and I think I'm going to get it. And that's still, I'm locked in at that $19 price home to put anything down, just keep the phone in good shape, walk into T-Mobile and be like, I'll take the new one, please. And that just will extend my lease out, say a month, because it's supposed to come out in a couple of weeks. So. For $350, I'm almost like right where I was if I was going to buy the ZTE or the Moto X Style. And I couldn't be happier. I just wish there were things that I can remember that I wanted to tell y'all. I mean, no force closes, no hesitations. Everything is, you know, so easy to get to. And messaging is just so easy to figure out. And Gmail... And the best part is no Google. I don't even have an iTunes account. I guess you need one, but I don't have one. I haven't had anything where, you know, I've had to load any apps. Everything that comes on the phone, I'm very content with. I mean, yes, it's true. My needs have definitely simplified over the years, but every time I pull out this, oh, and I love the Infinity Glass. You know, they don't have any phones like that right now. Um, except for the Edge by Samsung and I was looking at that and I was like well the 6 is too small and the Giant Edge is I'm not going to say too big but it just screams for an S Pen that it doesn't have and that just would annoy me forever so because I love that new feature that the um, Note has where you can write on the screen with it off oh my god I think that's the coolest feature ever that might make me get a Note at some point just for that even though I'll never use it but I mean on this phone the camera is fantastic and it's only eight megapixels the operating system only has one gigabyte of RAM um, the specs will not blow you away and yet every single thing I do with this phone I'm like impressed and I'm like man I finally get it you know but even though I say finally I don't think it was this good prior to um, the 6 Plus. I just don't. I mean, on a 4.4 inch screen, I guess it was, before the 6 and the 6 Plus came out, that would have been too small for me. So it's not like I'm like, oh man, what I've been missing. Because I really haven't. And um, really, I just, you know, like I say, I mean, Apple finally stepped up their game and I'm finally ready to play. So... I'm pretty excited because it's just it's just such a beautiful phone. I, I can't say that enough. Now, if it were, you know, a glass back, I mean, I'd be all. I have this really cool skin on it. It's like a extreme guard skin, so it's a real grippy skin that you can't see, but um, gives it a lot of grip. And the phone itself is just so beautiful. I mean, I know I've said that like 50 times already, but trust me. I ain't lying. So there you have it. That's what I'm doing these days and I couldn't be more jazzed. If you have any questions or comments and keep them nice, you know what to do. Thanks y'all. Bye.